Hi guys, I'm back with a review from a Hollywood movie called Interstellar, which was released in the year of 2014. It's now 2021. Just see seven years long back movie review because the impact of the movie it's all about the Earth problems. You know that is the future problem which each and every people would be facing. I don't know how it would, but Christopher Nolan has just played a vital role to make this out. You know it's unexplainable feelings. Okay. If you watch once, you won't, you will never understand this particular movie. Only if you watch thrice, you would understand that too. If you understand all these technical words, because many technical things have been there. So before watching this review, you must watch my time travel uh, video. It's all about uh, wormhole, black hole, dark matter, dark energy, big bang. All these things concepts have been explained in a simple way. Because all those words are being with big big. persons would discuss it all over we are just a normal common people so for common people in a common way i have explained it out so you can check that video so that you can watch this movie for sure oh christopher nolan didn't uh, compromise in anything whatever it is the vfx or the quality he made it was really natural you know when that paddy feel all these things were into it you know it's it's an an imaginable movie which next generation people must start to see and and be serious enough okay this this particular movie is not just just with the fiction move it's all about reality whatever it was done it was like a reality so cooper cooper is a character the main character he was he was a retired pilot in nasa and he was a farmer and an engineer he was and yes cooper is the most important character in this particular movie and he has a daughter called murphy and he has a son he has a dad and he doesn't have a wife because his wife has been passed away so that is one of the emotional story because this movie just begin with 2070 just remember 2070 how it would be there won't be no food crops etc except paddy paddy fields and all the corn etc and you know all the sand would be just like tornadoes all around you know it would be like full of dust etc so it would be like uh, they would be having a wooden house so Murphy was seeing something a ghost feel in her library in her home okay it was just like a gravitational message towards this particular person called Cooper by conveying something something about this gravitational propulsion okay so it's all about what it's all about so they were researching daughter and father was really cautious enough to understand what it's all about so they were uh, behind it they were going towards this NASA so when they visited NASA they just understood that we, they are facing a tremendous situation in this particular world called earth and you know professor john has said cooper that he had already sent his astronauts 12 astronauts towards saturn through this wormhole and they have given a signals that three planets are available for humans to stay it's like uh, edmund planet uh, miller planet and uh, man planet so it's duty of cooper and even the daughter of this professor john and uh, with a robot and two other crew to travel towards this particular wormhole and reach there and to understand what it's all about because professor promised that they would follow a plan a and plan b if plan a is not working they would follow plan b what is plan a plan a it's to formulate the formula for graphic gravity propulsion gravity propulsion is something to make humans to travel through the spacecraft towards this particular uh, planet and plan b is that they have uh, artificial 5000 human embryos being safeguarded it's like in a freezer so they would just uh, take it there towards this particular planet this was a plan by the scientist in nasa so this was a plan and you know by seeing all these things her daughter uh, murphy was really vexed because murphy wa- had a little talent about all these things about all this gravity and all these things because his dad must leave and you know it's not easy to travel because what would happen it's 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 unexplainable and an un- unimaginable feel and he was feeling that uh, in order to uh, live his daughter because his daughter was just 10 years old and you know in that way he, he was traveling towards this particular team okay so when you travel towards warm hole it's just like time and all these things involved in this particular thing okay so the particular movie it's all about dad must see his daughter in the age of 10 in the age of same of his dad and even in the age of 90s or 80s of his daughter so it's just imagine the feeling of a 
for the father's age would be same but the daughter's age would be just like that you know but the genius was daughter you know that would be revealed in the last so that you would un- enjoy this movie okay so they were traveling first towards this miller planet miller planet is something called uh, if you travel to that particular planet it would be full of water fully waves etc and if, if you spend one hour it's like uh, seven years of in earth just imagine if they are late inside that planet his age would be just twice thrice just like that so it was like a cautious fault where uh, other other astronaut who just traveled there they just lost all those signal and that signal they just got through this nasa and it was mis misinterpreted so it's not possible for any humans to stay in this miller planet and you know it was it was a view where you can see that spacecraft is gonna sink in this particular biggest wave you know all these pictures would be displayed in my uh, video so that you can understand that you know it was just a hell of the thing in this miller planet and you know they were already late and you know it's like 23 years they have spent it's like uh three hours something you know it's like three hours they just spent in that miller planet and he just lost 23 years you know at that time when they reached the spacecraft they were traveling the spacecraft he would be getting uh, all this video from the earth like he was receiving uh uh, his daughter's age was in his age you know that was one of the hardest feel to see his son has been into his age with a with a daughter that scene all these scenes are really emotional because he was in this particular age but his daughter and his son has been into the same age that is one of the hardest feel right all those emotional things so a part of a part of it he was in a situation where his professor had lied him because uh, his daughter is also a scientist right now and she just understood that even his professor was getting into the last stage of his life because of this particular rel- relativity of time and you know he said he just said that he couldn't find the formula so that his dad won't be able to return back okay that was a shocking thing for the daughter and after seeing this video uh, cooper was shocked and he just planned to see whether it's possible for at least man planet to s- survive for the humans but in man planet and other astronaut who just traveled before they have a right as given a signal because in order to save him so that too was a horrible move because that particular astronaut the particular person just cheated them they just started to cheat him so it was like even man planet was not working for humans it's like uh, even that particular astronaut got into death because of all this explosion etc because of cunningness he just lost his life and you know cooper was in a situation to save the earth finally and you know he had to take a decision to fall into this black hole and you know the reason being is that plan a uh, gravity proportion formula that formula can be found only if a person is entering a black hole and he decided himself to sacrifice for it by sending professor daughter towards enman planet enman planet is one of the planet where human can survive okay so she was traveling to that planet and he was falling into this black hole so it was like he and a robot called tars so it was like tars would uh, get all collect- collective informations whatever they have got through this galaxy etc so suddenly he was in a shock that when he was falling into this black hole it was like he was falling into a tesseract tesseract is something called a library it's like it's like a library view and you know it was something which was not made by the normal humans of this earth the scientific humans which would be like they are made in a five dimensional way what is what is five dimensional in order to know what is five dimensional time you have to know about the three and four dimensional time 3d dimensional time is something called which we see in our earth and four dimensional time it's in space time five dimensional thing is something which is unimaginable for humans because this would be made by significant humans who can be capable to travel in black hole black hole is something which has a gravity to pull out everything no one can survive in this black hole unless until it's a supernatural power so it was made in a way where to invite cooper inside this particular tesseract to understand the formula and make people to save from earth so he was conveying this message towards his daughter through this particular tesseract by sending a message so it was in a scene where in, in past you would be seeing in a library in his home a ghost feel a gravitational feel in a library it was just like his father was giving a command so that in order to formulate that formula so he had traveled through this time travel way where in this particular five dimensional time time is nothing it's very easy for this particular uh, in this particular dimensional to understand about timing so they 
they don't uh, value time in say this five dimension five dimensional tesseract okay so it was in a situation where uh, this formula has been found and he, and he just conveyed this message that he, he has just passed and you know when he was just blinking blinking from his uh, unconscious moment he was in a spacecraft inside this particular galaxy and he was just awaking and he would see his uh, daughter at the age of 95 you know it was like his daughter has found that formula one to make people to save from earth and they were just in each spacecraft okay that was a situation for a dad to see a daughter in the age of 90s and the, uh, the daughter in the age of in the same age you know it was just like that because of little fault he had to sacrifice all these things and make people save from earth to travel to the spacecraft you know you know it was just like that and you know his daughter's request was to save uh, the professor's daughter because at last uh, in one planet is the planet where this movie ends where this human can be surviving and in such situation this movie gets end so this particular movie it's not about a normal people can understand this particular movie because it's all about theoretical explanation of all this uh, physics uh, chemistry and all these things involved in this particular movie this movie if you watch you can travel towards all this galaxy all this universe you know what is wormhole what is black hole you know how a nasa scientist are doing all these things you know in reality if you think if in this 2070 if you are uh, having all these problem just imagine what the situation would be i'm damn sure i would be at the age of 77 or 80 if this particular problem arise and you know i just done this video the reason behind is that this movie must be watchable by all the future generation people you know interstellar this really mind blowing and you know i hope i had conveyed as best as possible you know i have uh, removed many parts which involves a lot of technical things because uh, all these things normal people can't understand that's the reason why i have removed all these th- things instead of that i have would be adding all these pics etc so that you would understand the impact of the movie and the reason behind i am just reviewing after 7 years okay hope you would be loving this particular review and you would be giving me good comments etc okay so without thought i'm ending this video hope uh, this would be the first youtube reviewer who just reviewed it in a in lesser than uh, 10 to 12 minutes i hope i think so within 14 minutes i would be reviewing it so i hope you would love this uh, particular video hope i would be doing lot of hollywood movie review the best the best of the best only the best movie would be reviewed in my youtube channel and you can guarantee you can watch it for sure okay so without thought i'm ending this video take care have